Okay, so I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you <laughs> Can you hear that? That's a kookaburra. Hey guys, it's Anita here from Flower Folk Farm and it's finished. Do you want to have a look? <laughs> Let me turn the camera around. Ta-da! It looks pretty good, doesn't it? The only thing that has to be done that we're waiting on is the signage for here that will go on the front there. It's got our branding on it. So we're just waiting for that to come, but yeah, it's all done. It's come up really good. I'm super happy with it. And I think the flowers really do pop with the white background. Hi girls, how you doing? Bees are going really well. Someone's very smoochy today. <laughs> We've got ourselves a digger. Look at her go. As we are moving more into the autumn months, I am noticing so much more happening in the garden at the moment. The dahlias are still going quite strong, as you can see. And today, uh, my main job is to get them sprayed with LAB, which I talked about in my previous video. And today I'm going to actually show you very quickly just the steps to go through to make your own at home and how to apply it here onto flowers. But you know, it's the same method for vegetables as well. Now LAB is a regenerative farming approach, so you know that it is natural. It is going to prime the soil and add to the soil in a natural way. It isn't harmful to pollinators. You can treat your garden regularly. You can add it to other soil amendments that you're doing at the time. So if you're doing a seaweed fertilizing treatment, you can add it to that. You can apply it directly to the foliage, which I do regularly and I'm doing today to the dahlias. Um, the other thing you can do is apply it to, as a soil drench directly to the soil before planting. Now, what I will say from the outset here is I am by no means an expert on LAB. This is something I have learnt over time and I, have, I am fairly new to it actually and I am still developing my skills in this area. However, I can say without a doubt, it has made a huge difference to my plants, to my flowers particularly. So I'm putting up a whole lot of different clips for you down in the description for you to watch. This is where you need to do your own research. It's really important. You need to educate yourself and you need to take control of that education by getting a wide range of uh, material. Listen to podcasts, read books, watch YouTube videos. There are so many YouTube clips on LAB. And if you've got any questions, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Okay, so let's get started. I'll put a full list of the ingredients you're going to need for this in the description below. So please make sure you check that out. There's also some really valuable links in there that I'd like you to check out too. Just add two cups of rice to the bowl and enough water to cover that rice. Then all you really need to do is give that a really good stir through with your hands. I then strain the rice water into the container that I'm going to leave it in to ferment on the bench. So you can see I've got quite a nice big one here. Feel free to use whatever size jar you've got available, just so long as it's a nice clear glass one. Then all you need to do is cover it with something breathable like some cotton cloth or muslin or even baking paper. And then I like to put it over on the kitchen bench out of direct sunlight and it'll need to sit there for around three to five days. Just depends on the temperature in your house. It will take on a bit more of a sweet and fermented smell and that is when you know it's ready to move on to the next step, which is where we add the milk. And what you wanna remember with this part, there's no specific measurements except just remember you wanna add one part rice water to 10 parts milk. I prefer to use an unpasteurized organic milk just because it's got a bit more uh, natural bacteria in it, but you can use any milk for this, it doesn't matter, preferably a full cream milk. 
And then once you've added your milk, you're going to add the cover again to your container and let it sit for roughly 48 hours, remembering that temperatures will play a big part in this. And then you'll end up with that curd on the top. Then it's just a matter of uh, removing that curd and you can feed that to animals. You can also turn that into cheese. And I've left a um, link down below that you can actually find out more about that. But I actually fed this to the pigs and they absolutely loved it. And then it's just a matter of bottling it up. I use these bottling containers, which are glass. And once you've done that, pop the lids back on it. This is still active, so it needs to be kept in the refrigerator until you're using it. So these ones just go straight into my fridge. <laughs> I'm going to show you quickly how I mix this prep up. Okay, so this is my lactic acid bacteria here. This stuff is alive, so this is full of probiotics and a little goes a long way. So when you're applying it, you really only need about a teaspoon per gallon of water or around three to four liters. However, if it goes over, don't worry. You know, I'm not exact with this sort of thing. So just whatever, if there's a little bit more, it's just gonna be better for your soil. So don't stress. So whether you apply it with like a little applicator like this, you can do that if you're in a suburban setting or if you're like me and you have quite a large area that you've got to do, this is a really good option too. It's one of those backpacks. Okay, so lactic acid bacteria is not only amazing for your plants and soil, it is also amazing for your animals. And what you can actually do is add it to feed. You can also spray bedding to reduce odors and basically improve health and well-being of your livestock. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been really helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Next week, I'm just doing a couple of really short videos for you and I hope you'll join me for those. But until then, thank you from us for watching and I hope you have a great week. Say bye. She says bye. <laughs>